Hi, this is Alex, and uh, welcome to my third video. Um, today we're going to take a look at running uh, Microsoft Office OneNote 2007 on my Samsung Q1P. Uh, my Q1P, again, has the 7-inch diagonal screen, widescreen, um, so it's not a lot of screen real estate, especially compared to my Acer, uh, which had a 10-inch screen. Um, but so far, as I demonstrated with Firefox and Zinio on my two previous videos, um, it definitely works for what I use it for. So let's go ahead and open OneNote. I have the icon here um, in my system tray, so I can just go ahead and click it uh, if I want to take a note and uh, it opens what's called a side note. So I can just go ahead and start, you know, whatever the note might be, like call home before 2 p.m. and then go ahead and close that out. Um, or I can open OneNote by right clicking instead of going to the side note and I can go to my OneNote by clicking that and um, there you go. And if you're familiar with OneNote, you know, this is kind of what you're seeing is the note actually in the middle. Um, to the left, you have uh, your notebooks. This is a, a new feature for 2007 where you can have more than one uh, notebook open at a time, which I like. Uh, and then these are my different sections within my work notebook. And then on the right are the different pages within um, that um, that section. Okay, so obviously if I left it like this and just took notes within this middle portion, that wouldn't be very good. I can't see a lot. And this is a, actually I printed a Word document, meeting minutes, uh, and then I during the meeting, uh, the next meeting, I just write over these meeting minutes, um, and which I like a lot. Like here, I put new due date next Friday on this particular action item, um, so it's kind of nice. But obviously, if I was restricted just to this space, uh, not very good. So again, um, I have my U2 uh, button program to be F11, which is full screen mode. So just by a click, um, it goes to full screen mode, which is nice. So now I have quite a bit of uh, real estate here where I could uh, actually take notes. And then if I want to quickly go back to another uh, section, I just hit U2 again, and now I'll switch over to, let's say, my Power Documents, and uh, let's say I wanted to reference my 2007 goals, I can hit U2, it goes to full screen mode, and then back. So, um, you know, quite nice, quite nice. The uh, other thing is, you can see here I have four, and just until recently it was three, but I added a lean um, uh, notebook. So I really only leave notebooks open um, that I reference uh, on a regular basis. And the nice thing you could open, like uh, I don't look at the, there was a, a notebook that came with um, OneNote, basically a tutorial or a reference guide. So I can go ahead and open another notebook. So in this case, it could be the OneNote 2007 guide. I'm not going to do that because, and, and this is one feature about the 7-inch screens too. You have to go to another resolution um, to see. You have to hit a button down here, which is off screen, uh, that basically says open. So once I click this, then I have to hit open. But I can't do that on the screen. Um, and, if, and I'm not going to go to another resolution for this video. But if I did, then it would open that notebook. So it's kind of, a, a, I guess, not great uh, when you're mobile. Um, to have to switch resolutions. Okay, but we'll close out of that. Um, and then here, I'm going to go to Lean. I'm actually reading a book called uh, Lean Thinking, and I'm just taking notes as I do that. So here, um, and we'll scroll over to the left. I can go ahead and hit U2. Uh, so I have my full screen. I could scroll up pretty easily. Introduction, I had taken some notes. Chapter 1. Um, and, uh, you know, so it's quite a bit of real estate for just doing that. So it's kind of nice. I can read. I can have my Q1. I could take some easy notes. Um, and I really have, since I've been taking notes, I have not had a problem with vectoring, um, you know, the issue that it's a touch screen. So if you rested your palm on the screen while you were writing, it would just look like gibberish. And well, let me demonstrate. So here, you know, I'm trying to... I didn't have it in the pen mode. So here, you know, I'm trying to write, and it's just a lot of gibberish. But what I do is I rest my palm on the bevels around the screen, and I really haven't found that to be a problem at all. Um, you know, I would like to 
leave my, my palm wherever it lands. But just, you know, really without giving it much thought, you know, I'm able to do that. Okay. So that's really um, OneNote 2007. I, I really think there is enough screen real estate to take notes. Um, you know, and I'm showing you in portrait mode, but I sometimes take no, 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 I'm sorry, I'm showing you landscape notes. Sometimes I'll take notes in the portrait um, um, res or format also. And e e both are fine, you know, for taking notes in meetings. Um, and uh, so I, I, I for my, what I need it for, I really think that one note works. So, so that's great. It's three for three. Uh, Firefox, I told you I was happy with. Um, on this type of a screen, uh, we went through Microsoft Zinio, which if, I'm sorry, Zinio Reader, which at first I didn't think was going to work well, but I think it did. And now uh, OneNote, which seems to meet my needs too. So again, hey, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions, leave me a uh, leave me a comment or a note, or you can email me. Love to hear what you're thinking, um, and if there's any particular applications you'd like to see on how it would look on my QMP, uh, let me know. All right, again, thanks for watching.